What up everybody, it is December 16th and we are talking about a map to hell. We are talking about a map to hell in today's daily devotionals, in the School for Profits main channel on YouTube. Please subscribe if you guys are blessed by this. Like and share as well. I also do this on Instagram. Instagram page, Instagram link is in the description below. Again, it is December 16th, and the question of the day is, where is hell actually located? We are reading from Pastor Doug Bachelor's 365 Amazing Answers to Big Bible Questions. But before we get to this, I want to take some time to let you guys know that there is a movie out there called From America to Babylon. So if you guys want to become Bible prophecy students and want to learn more about the Mark of the Beast, why is it on the forehead? Why the right hand? What's it got to do with the buying and selling and the number 666? The movie is only $5.99 and it is packed with information about these things. So please watch the movie. Link is in the description box below. It is worth your time. Also make sure to take notes when you guys do watch the movie. Again, it is December 16th. And we are talking about a map to hell. Where is hell located? Here we go. If God did not spare the angels who sinned, but cast them down to hell and delivered them into change of chains of darkness to be reserved for judgment, to be reserved for judgment. Second Peter 2 and verse 4. There are many mythologies and folklores in the world that describe hell. Some picture, uh, some picture it as a place of eternal burning located somewhere inside the earth, a place where sinful people go immediately after death and are continually tortured. The Bible does not support this view. According to the scriptures, not one person is being punished in hell at this moment. The Lord knows how to deliver the godly out of temptation and to reserve the unjust under punishment for the day of Judgment, Second Peter 2 and verse 9. So it says there that the, that the wicked are reserved until the day of judgment, which makes sense because why would someone punish, um, the, why would God punish the wicked without first judging them? And we do know that we have to be part of that judgment because if we are not part of that judgment and God punish someone that we thought did not deserve the punishment, then how would we feel about God? How would we feel about God? I have more. I, there is so much more to say about this. I have a movie, two movies out there called Prevail Part One and Prevail Part Two. Um, if you guys want to learn more about this, link is in the description box, or you could just search it up on on YouTube. Prevail Part One: How to Conquer Death, and Prevail Part Two: Hellfire. Anyways. Jesus explains when sinners will be cast into hellfire. Therefore, as the tares are gathered and burned in the fire, so it will be at the end of this age. The Son of Man will send out His angels, and they will gather out of His uh, kingdom all things that offend, that those who practice lawlessness and will, uh, and will cast them into the furnace of fire. There will be a wailing and gnashing of teeth. That's in Matthew 13 and verse 40 through 42. Now again, there's going to be some people that are going to um, debate us on this. But again, guys, I, we have a movie out called Prevail Part 1 and Prevail Part 2. Um, link is in the description box. It's a full six-hour study on this very subject. So if you guys comment on this video, you might not get your answer because I probably won't be commenting back because I'm so busy. There's so many comments on these videos. But if you go watch the movie Prevail Parts 1 and Part 2, uh, Parts 1 and 2, you'll get your answer there. It's a full six and a half hour study on this very subject. The fires of hell that destroy the wicked do not originate from the inside of the earth, but from heaven itself. Revelation 20 and verse 9. Look it up. God is a consuming fire to all that is sinful. Hebrews 12 and verse 29. The wicked will be totally consumed by the fires of hell. Malachi 4 and verses 1 and 3. It even says that, uh, that when the wicked are consumed by the fire, 
they will be consumed until they will become ashes under, under the soles of our feet. That's in Malachi 4. The evil angels spoken of in 2 Peter were cast down to hell and delivered um, into chains of darkness. When we read how Satan and his evil angels were removed from heaven, the Bible says they were cast to the earth. Revelation 12 and verse 9. It also says, Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea, for the devil has come down to you. That's in verse 12 of Revelation 12. There currently is no place where dead people have been cast to be burned up. All are asleep in their graves awaiting the resurrection of life or the resurrection of condemnation. John 5 and verse 29. Now a lot of people are going to say, well, what about the parable of the rich man and Lazarus? Again, refer to the movie. Um, Prevail part 1 and 2. Parts 1 and 2. You will find your answer there. Um. Not until the final judgment will the wicked be cast into the lake of fire. Revelation 20 and verse 14. Again, there must be first a judgment before the punishment. It's not fair for God. It's not justice for God. If there is no judgment first before the punishment, there must first be a judgment. And we all must be part of that judgment first before the um, punishment takes place. So that's what we have for today, December 16th. In today's daily devotionals, if you guys were blessed by this, please like and share. If you guys are new to this channel, please subscribe and also make sure to hit the bell so that you guys can get notified every time we upload new videos, new devotionals, new Bible study videos, new films, and things like that. And by the way, guys, if you guys want to support this ministry, you guys can do so by praying for this online video ministry and also donating at schoolforprofits.tv. Link is in the description box below. And... You can watch the movie From America to Babylon. It's only $5.99 to watch it. The proceeds from that movie will go towards the next film, Babylon the Great Whore. Okay, and that movie from, Babylon, from America to Babylon is packed with information about the mark of the beast. Why is it on the forehead? Why the right hand? What's it got to do with the buying and selling and the number 666? So if you guys want to become Bible prophecy students, that movie, the link to that movie is in the description box below watch it it's packed with information take notes peace praise god always